So I want to start and just thank you all um, for coming to Netroots, right? Um, I want to start and, and just thank you for your support and solidarity for, the, for those who supported today's action. Um, I stand here as a proud black trans woman and as a proud member of Black Lives Matter. Today was definitely a call to action, but it is not the first nor is it the last time that folks will be held accountable when it comes to black lives. You can continue to clap. <laughs> I want to definitely recognize the Arizona community and letting them know that we are standing in solidarity with the undocumented folks here. We, we are aware of the injustices that we all face. And so it's really important to let those folks know that we are constantly and always thinking of you with every action and every time that we say Black Lives Matter. We are thinking of our brothers and sisters across people of color communities. We stated that it is a state of emergency for black lives in this country. It's not just a state of emergency for cisgender people or trans people or folks who are being murdered by police brutality. It is a state emergency for all black lives. Black trans women are under attack. Our livelihoods don't exist. We make no money. <laughs> the average income or expected salary of a black trans woman in this country is under $10,000. The life expectancy is 35 years of age. So the call to action is not only due to the physical violence that black lives are facing, but the systemic and structural violence. We are hoping that folks are aware that the progressive movement is now. The progressive movement is reflective of black lives. Conversations that have existed throughout this conference is what's next, what's next, next is now. The LGBTQ movement is really, really excited about what's next. Next is now. Valuing black lives is now. <laughs> Solidarity is also now. We know that in this moment, folks are asking what you can do. What you can do is understand exactly how you can be in solidarity with black and brown folks. So when we say not one more, understand that we mean not one more and you should continue to do your part in making sure that that is a reality. When we say black lives matter, you should honor that black lives matter and not conflate or derail with all lives matter. We know that. This speech, this moment is not about me. These efforts that we make are not about us. They are about people. People that we actually have to learn the names of. We didn't just say her name for no reason. Sandra Blank was a real person. Maya Hall was a real person. Tanisha Anderson was a real person. The four trans women from the state of Ohio that were murdered in less than a year, Samaya Dove, Tiffany Edwards, Brittany Nicole Kidd Sturgis, and Betty Skinner were real people. And to be in solidarity with the progressive movement means you must be in solidarity with black people, with black leadership, with black women. So when you leave this space, Remember the names of those we've mentioned. Remember the names of those who you don't know. 
and do your part to constantly be in solidarity in dismantling the system of white supremacy, patriarchy, capitalism that is destroying the lives of people of color in this country. Thank you.